the news site Reuters put out a video promoting physician assisted suicide in Canada, not as it currently is, but as is coming in Canada in regards to like mental health. So people who have um, mental illness could then up to kill themselves. And this is essentially a promotional video of that. I want to go through it with you. And I think it's important to bear in mind that the problem here is not actually the individual who wants to kill herself. I mean, she's profoundly mentally ill. It, the problem is the people who would who would lend credence to the idea that that's okay. Who would tell her that her life doesn't have intrinsic value and worth. And would say, okay, this is the, this is the point where we've had enough of you. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and, and give this a look. Do you want to die now? If the option was there today, I would, yes. I mean, it's hell. It's every day is hell. I, it takes me literally an hour to get out of bed, just physically. Um, and yeah, I just, I have no energy. Um. Just to be clear, she has no energy um, because she has anorexia, right? So she has uh, malnutrition, which is contributing to the fact that she's exhausted all the time. All right, continue my mind is just constantly thinking about numbers. Um, I'm so forgetful. And by like two o'clock, I'm ready for bed. Um, if I do laundry, um, that's like running a marathon. It's, you know, it's, um, it's horrible. Yeah. It's, it's sort of, it's, it's what I want. It's what I want because I'm done. Like, I'm so tired. I'm done. I've tried everything. Um... Okay. Now, f firstly, I don't think she's tried everything because she hasn't tried eating. Um, but and that's a little bit dark. Um, but really, this is someone who is essentially being, well, she is being exploited you need to have people who clearly say to her, and it would be a medical thing to clearly say to her, like, the symptoms that are bothering you that you're describing are a consequence of you not eating, right? And then working with her to try to, to fix the, the underlying disorder of anorexia. But what you, what, you can't, what you can't do is say, actually, your life has no value because, because you're tired all the time. And this is someone who has reached the point of suicidality and therefore we're saying, okay, you know what? We're good with it. It's abhorrent. I just, I, I'm, I, I, I feel like I've lived my life. I, I really have. And other people may think like, my God, you're 47. Like you have your whole, still a whole life ahead of you. You can change, you can do this. And I personally, I am too tired. I am not going to change. Like I don't want to recover, meaning I don't want to gain weight because to recover, you need to gain weight. I don't want to. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm, that's that's the the course I want to take. Okay, so so we have somebody who is obviously despairing, and you could say disenfranchised, and has at the moment given up, and who is at the moment suicidal. But I don't know at what point we came as a society to say, well. Maybe we should just let it go. I think that it kind of all, it all weaves together in that we have created this culture of death because we don't see an inherent view of life. Like we don't consider human life to be particularly remarkable in our society at this point. And you see that reflected in so many different ways 
obviously things like abortion would be the most uh, the most clear right um but i think that even this idea of of transgenderism is part of that it because it denies the inherency of of the person right it denies the way that they were made and it's a refusal of everyone else to say actually you were made this way this is who you are and we respect you not for this caricature that you want to create but as the person that you are and that's the reason we're going to use the pronouns that are specific to who you really are and so on and why we're not going to encourage the delusion that you want to participate in because you're worth more than that because you're worth something you know as a human being created in the image and likeness of god um our our refusal to do any of that i think it all really boils down to the same fundamental question of like what is it to be human right what is man the uh, the rather fundamental thing and we we have come up with the answer of nothing right literally like man has no value and this is this is the outcome when you i mean you see it in other cases of euthanasia as well but it's so unbelievably tragic because these are the people who are the some of the most vulnerable people in our population because they can't speak for themselves not really they can't advocate for themselves because they don't see their own value and what's downright painful is that our society at large doesn't either anymore right because we have reached this point where uh, society is built on this this utilitar utilitarianism such that this person this person obviously isn't isn't producing isn't working and therefore um they don't have value and it's like no inherently throughout christendom that was not our viewpoint our viewpoint is that this person has value and did from the very moment you know they were conceived and would until natural death that they were a human being and that that alone is a beautiful thing and even though she's in a state of self-denial and despair it is i mean it's, it's incumbent at that point on everyone else on those around her and presumably on her, her loved ones i don't know who she has in her life at this point uh to tell her that and instead you've got news crews there who are like no tell us how much you despair and want to die so we can use that to change the law so that we can you know kill you and and facilitate the killing of other people as well i mean this whole thing is so incredibly dark and i don't think there are enough people who who are speaking up about it and who and who can at this point because this this culture of death has sort of permeated the the worldview of so many people i think it's worth taking some time to think about the direction that well not even the direction that we're going it's the position that we're in if you enjoyed that video please don't forget to like and subscribe also share it with your friends i've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways thank you